What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're gonna be talking about the best of the best Blender creations coming out from the community because let's face it, Blender is an amazing 3D modeling, animation, and VFX software, but it would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to these creators on this list. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance, they're just too dope to compare like that, but the final three are going to be my absolute favorites, so make sure you guys go ahead and stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on that one. Anyways, let's hop right in. First up at number 10, user Solidon brings us this awesome looking planet render all created using EV, which is pretty mind blowing to see all of these details that he got in here and the lighting. Now if you're interested how he created those awesome looking rocks there, they're actually photo Photo scanned rocks which really adds in that level of detail and realism to the scene. He also used the light volume scatter to create this realistic looking environment with the lights just trailing across. That way he can get that really nice looking volumetric lighting. I think he has a great use of depth and shadows there because not only are we getting all these details in the foreground but we even have a planet rotating in the background which is just freaking mind blowing. Next we have at number 9. Okay yo this one freaking blew my mind. This is an awesome use of AI and blender so now we're actually able to create seamless looking textures that are generated using AI and specifically this one is using stable diffusion it is a plugin that you can get for blender for completely free which is pretty awesome because using this plugin you can create your own textures just based off of the text prompt and then you can even use them in your scenes and create all sorts of awesome looking results I'm really excited to see where blender and AI plugins are gonna be in the future and right now I'm just super excited that this one is out Anyways, great work and I hope to see more. Here at number 8 from user Isaac Hicks Films and he brings us this really cute and awesome looking Blender short film. Now to create this entire piece, he actually combined using Blender for the animation and 3D modeling and everything like that with Premiere Pro so he can actually color grade, add in some sound design and film grain effects to this and pretty much other than that everything else was just done in Blender. Now I really love it, how cute this animation came out and that really nice use of a claymation style. If you're curious how he got to create that claymation look to his models, he's actually using a fingerprint texture as a bump map and then he's even rotating it and animating that rotation each frame so that it creates this look as if he's molding the different characters each time. And then on top of that, he's using a displace to actually deform the model so that they have that look as if they're really being molded by clay. This is an awesome work. Next up at number seven, user Doctor JL brings us this amazing looking Reggie Pokemon digital art. So when I saw this, this actually brought me back to the old school days when I used to play Pokemon and you know, would just fanboy over all the awesome designs that they have. But back then it was all in 2D. So getting to see this recreated in 3D using Blender is just mind blowing and super impressive. I love how Reggie Steel and Reggie Ice look and just all the little details on them. For the glowing metal on Reggie Steel, he says that he actually used a simple emission shader with a mix of red and orange. And then for the glowing crystal surrounding Reggie Ice, he actually made a crystal shader and added a volume inside of that. Really awesome techniques and use of Blender there. Number six on the list, Nikki Blender brings us this great looking cozy kitchen perspective models all done right within Blender. Impressive use of world building and complementary colors really brings this piece to life and looking at the behind the scenes breakdown of how this was even created really shows us just the amount of details within details that he puts in this from not only the furniture creations but even the keyboard and the monitor and then the different wires that are all making up this scene there's just so many details that he poured love into and I love the way that this came out really great work Nikki Blender and I hope to see more all right things are heating up we're about halfway through at number five here we have from Erases in this awesome looking blender class scene which is brought to life using the go dot engine beta inside of blender I love how realistic this looks not only are the textures and the different scenes just really brought to life with the lighting but overall this is just an impressive work to look at and I'm really inspired to see how go dot engine is going to be incorporated in blender I appreciate you sharing the files for everyone to use for free which is always just a huge benefit to the community so mad props and thanks to you number four on the list here we have from Wu Chan Ching the 
the cyberpunk edge runners animation inspired by the show. I think this is a great design and recreation of the character Rebecca from the cyberpunk edge runner series. If you guys haven't seen it already, I recommend you check it out on Netflix. Not only is this impressively recreated in 3D, but I also got to give you mad props for this awesome looking rig that you have. Thanks for showing us the breakdown and seeing how great your work is. Anyways, love your work a lot and I hope to see more. All right, we're down to the final three at number three. This one is by Dizzy and Lizzie, and this is an awesome looking anime and Ghibli style right inside of Blender, which is freaking mind blowing because not only are these scenes beautifully crafted and rendered, but it's just even more impressive to realize that, hey, this is not a 2D animation at all. This is actually done in 3D using a really impressive use of textures and compositing right within the software. I love how amazing this anime ocean came out and I love how beautifully created these season and geographic animations came out. I love your work a lot, Dizzy and Lizzie, and I hope to see more. Number two on the list, Kinetic Graphics brings us these amazing, crazy trippy animations. I love how awesome this animation look. He says it took him only about 15 minutes to create that first year functional loop animation. And then afterwards, it took him about two hours to really dial in the way that he wants it to look. I love how satisfying this animation came out and how I could stare at this for hours. Not only that, but completely unrelated to these looping animations, he has this awesome looking skateboard scene, which really utilizes the perspective of the camera being mounted onto the skateboard to bring the scene to life. This is just super impressive and I love your work a lot. Hope to see more. And last but not least, at number one. Okay, this one has to be one of my favorites. This is a Spamton Blender rig from Deca Marks. Now, the really cool thing about this rig is that it is super customizable and I love how he brings it to life with this animation introducing it to us. Not only that, but he gives us a free project file with this Blender rig in there. That way we can actually use it in projects of our own. And if you guys take a look at the website for this download link, impressively crafted. It just looks super awesome and really fun. So yeah, huge props Deco Marks, and thanks for sharing your awesome work with the community. Love your work and hope to see more. If this is your first time on the channel, we talk about all sorts of motion design, VFX, and 3D animation so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned curious to see even more awesome creators just pushing the boundaries of blender i recommend you check out this video there are just so many awesome techniques and interesting ways that blender is getting used so i don't know what you guys are still doing here go ahead click that video i guarantee you're gonna like it anyways thanks for watching and i hope to catch you all in the next one peace